What are the various types of natural anointing? The natural anointing, meaning the natural way of applying anointing oil, has three different types. Mashach, sprinkling and pouring. Mashach is the word where the word Mashiach comes from. As you may know, the word Mashiach means Christ, which literally means anointed one. We often see that people put a little drop of anointing oil on a finger and then apply it to the forehead in the form of a cross. But this is not what the Bible shows in regard to the Mashach anointing, which is the type of anointing that is used for personal anointing and for the anointing of the sick. Mashach anointing is to pour a little bit anointing oil on, a, on your hand and then to gently apply it to the whole face in the same way that you wash your face. The Bible shows us a few examples. And wine that maketh glad the heart of man, and oil to make his face to shine, and bread which strengtheneth man's heart. Let thy garments be always white, and let thy head lack no ointment. But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thine head, and wash thy face, that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy Father which is in secret. And thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. The meaning of the use of anointing oil was to make the face shine. The, prof the prophetic meaning of this was and is the shining light of God who has filled us with his oil, meaning his Holy Spirit, and who has set us ablaze. It is an image of the glory of God in and on us. The meaning of the word mashach is to doubt or to smear, but also to stroke, to draw the hand over, drawn out and chosen. By anointing yourself, you show the whole spiritual world that you believe that God has drawn you out of this world and that you are one of his chosen ones. The anointing by sprinkling is not for common daily use, but for special occasions. As we know, the Holy Spirit is in us, but the, but the anointing by sprinkling is the image of the Holy Spirit on us. That is not instead, but on top of His presence in us. After the forgiveness of sin and the cleansing of all uncleanness, this is the image of the restoration or establishment of His holiness and glory upon our lives by the power of the Holy Spirit. This can be considered as a spiritual garment. He shall be with us, surrounding us by His glory, and He shall be in us. The sprinkling of anointing oil is used to hollow people, items and places. The aim of this type of anointing is not to appoint, but to hollow. This way of anointing can be used to anoint people, garments, items and places, like church buildings, a house, etc. The anointing by pouring was and is only used to appoint people for ministry. Throughout the Old Testament, this type of anointing was only used to appoint prophets, kings and priests. When they were anointed for duty, the Holy Spirit would come over them and empower them. The Bible mentions several of these anointings. Kings were anointed by pouring in the form of a crown, that is pouring a circle on the top of the head in the form of a crown. Priests were anointed by pouring in the form of a cross. And this happened from the back of the head, sideward to the eyebrows, from left to right and from right to left. There is so much more to share about the anointing and the anointing oil. You know, a few years ago I was sitting here in this exact spot thinking I should really quickly write a few studies about the anointing and the anointing oil. And I thought I knew most of it, most of what there is to know about these topics. At that point the Holy Spirit stopped me and said, there is more, there is more, but are you willing to go after it? I am willing to give it to you, but are you willing to take this challenge?
and to go after it. Well, I took the challenge and I ended up with 345 verses in the Bible that speak about the anointing and the anointing oil. And the amazing thing is that it is not only the Old Testament that speaks about the anointing and the anointing oil. The New Testament actually says a lot about it as well. And now you can learn everything that I have learned throughout this journey, which took me a half year. Because after all my studying and taking all these notes, I ended up with a book called The Anointed Bride. Today you can order your copy and learn the same things that I have learned in that half year.